Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today's review, I was quite looking forward to. Uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but today we're going to review a naturally extracted tobacco by Tabak uh, Fischio. I always get it wrong. This is a difficult name to get. Anyway, you'll see it in the title. Uh, number 3.0. So, I reviewed one naturally extracted by them, the Nova Roma, which is amazing and complex, full-bodied. You can watch my review on that one. Today we're going to review another one by, uh, but this is sort of, I, would I wouldn't call this a hybrid. I would call it a tobacco, aromatic tobacco with a topping. And this is the Black Bee. Yeah, and it comes in this 20 ml glass bottle. I can't read a word of what it says here. It's all in Italian. So if you read Italian, you'll be able to read this. Um, I'm not sure what it's all about. I just, the only thing I can read, it says over here, Black Cavendish. Right, so it gives, gives me a hint. But luckily, uh, I've got the flavor profile right in front of me here. Flavor profile, Black Cavendish embraces the sweetness of honey which is extracted and vaporized directly on the tobacco leaves. Now, one very much my favorite is the El Chapo by Juice Cabin. Uh, El Chapo has also got this black honey back note to it that is absolutely amazing, uh, delicious black uh, back note. But the tobacco on this is more of a cigar forward slash uh, with Oriental, if I'm not mistaken. This is a black Cavendish, so black Cavendish already has got a, a sweet note to it. Uh, so normally black Cavendish is sort of more earthy sweetness, sort of molasses, grassy sweetness to it, with a bit of nutty earthy. Um, I love the La Tabacaria black Cavendish, it is absolutely a stunner of a black Cavendish. Um, and this should have a back note of honey, and I've got the... Um, um, El Chapo on my Pioneer um, and the flavor from this is a delicious back note of honey Ooh, so good so let's see what um, I don't have to spell it again do I? Tabaca Fischio okay that is it for me for spelling this name um, let's see how Black Bee compares to the El Chapo. So I've got here my, <coughs> my Brunhilde, all freshly wicked. Now, before we do that, if you, you have to mix it, it's a 20 ml concentrate. So they recommend between 5%, 10% all day. That's what I've done. 10%, 5% I think is a bit too low. Uh, and 15 to 20 percent is a bit more full bodied. I left you below uh, how to configure it on 10 percent, 15 percent, and 20 percent because 5 percent I think is going to be too, too, too weak. So on 10 percent, 50 ml uh, bottle, um, you use um, um, uh, 5 ml. So if you want to do 100 mil, you use 10 mil. Yeah, very easy to do. You just add the VGPG according to the chart below and you will get what I have got here in my old juice bottle, juice cabin bottle, a 50 mil configured to 9 milligram nicotine, the way I have done it here and below, and 70 VG. Right. So um, let's give it a go. So uh, I wanted to, um, I was quite tempted to try it already, but I said, you know, I'll keep it for the review. Today I've got a bit of time. I said, I'll do it. And finally, I'll be able to taste and to see if El Chapo has got a uh, rival. Let's have a look. Right. Let's give it a go. Mm. <laughs> Not what I expected, no. It's 
a bit of a sweetness here nutty earthy the tobacco comes here in the forefront I'm trying to detect the honey yeah it is there in the background the El Chapo has got it right up front that is the difference between them now actually oh. the El Chapo I taste the honey straight off the bat with the tobacco in sort of surrounding the honey this is more the tobacco with a faint sweet note of maybe it's that uh, El Chapo's black honey this is just says honey <clears throat> this is more like sort of I will call this not hybrid no this is more of a mild aromatic pipe tobacco there is a pipe tobacco called honey roast by Boswell's in uh, US and that is a uh, similar for my smoking days mm, it's good Oh, the honey is coming through better now. Yeah, the honey is now coming through a bit better. So it's a different profile of honey. It is more like sort of a soft, sweetish. When I say sweet, it is so slight uh, of honey. It is not the black honey of the El Chapo. Um, we'll talk soon what I prefer it's too soon to talk I must tell you I'm enjoying this very much um, but I was searching for the honey that I've got in the El Chapo yeah probably the wick needed to bed in a bit this is a very nice tobacco flavor here this is a mild vape this can be because I use 10% um, this can be vaped all day long I would vape this all day long because the black Cavendish here is slight different than La Tabacaria uh, the La Tabacaria's black Cavendish is more on the woody oaky um, bit of sweetness to it earthy yeah it's delicious this one is a bit milder and it's complemented with a very faint sweeter back note of that it's not black on it it's not so evident it gives it like sort of a uh, you know fills up that uh, profile it's like a signature of an artist on the on the painting you know just finishes it off mm, very nice I was uh, I was expecting a bit more of the honey here I wouldn't have minded and it wouldn't help me to add make it 15% I would just maybe get it more bolder tobacco I don't think the honey will come more to the forefront the honey and del Chapo is more evident that is the, certainly yeah you can't mistake it that black honey that's why I love the El Chapo this is a somewhat different but within the same family if you know what I mean you get a lovely uh, fairly mild tobacco with the black Cavendish trademark on it you know that earthy a bit of woodiness a bit of oakiness um, with that back note of that very delicate honey different type of honey to the juice cabin one yeah certainly there is like a back note of honey here this is a very pleasant very pleasant tobacco vape yeah although I did expect more of the honey yeah black bee I thought but this is the sweetness of honey which is extracted and vaporized directly on the tobacco so maybe just infuses it a bit it's not a flavoring as such here he's got a natural black honey I'm not sure but it's a NET yeah so it's a bit more pronounced this is a bit softer and in the background but this tobacco is a lovely tobacco 
So it's a fairly straightforward um, black Cavendish with a drizzle of honey. Well, infused with honey a bit. So I won't call this a hybrid, no, because you can't taste the honey really. You need, you need to concentrate. You get it a bit in the back note of it. But primarily, it's the tobacco, a very good quality black Cavendish with a topping, let's call it this way, a topping of a, you know, when you, ha when you uh, smoke a pipe tobacco, like the honey roast, uh, when you smell the tobacco, the leaf, oh yeah, you can smell that honey. But when you smoke it, you, you get more the tobacco itself. I can't remember what, what was it, Virginia, I can't remember what tobacco it was. But um, you get that uh, slight sweet honey back note, exactly the same as over here. So this is more like sort of a pipe tobacco. Yeah. This is a very nice indeed. I must say, this is, they do very good quality tobaccos. Tobacco, whatever the name is. Very good liquid. All Italians, uh, you know, so far, that I, uh, La Tabaccaria and all the rest that I tried, um, well, definitely not. Well, one of my favorites now, all of them. I'm not taking away from Juice Cabin, which is amazing. Or Drake's, or Black Note, yeah. But the Italians have got a knack when it comes to tobacco liquids. Can't take it away. I can certainly vape this all day long, all day long. That very delicate honey, I wouldn't have minded a bit more of it. But it's probably the Italians, Italians won't have it. They want tobacco. So, yeah, but uh, as Adelix says, does have hybrids that I reviewed. And I think um, the Vaping Gentleman Club has also got hybrids. And it's probably La Tabacaria also, I never tried it. But uh, this one, they had a specific profile in mind a mild all-day vape with a good quality black Cavendish leaf sort of infused with a slight honey just to give it a bit of interest I think that's what they had in mind juice cabin one is more those who like a heavy aromatic you know um, you can taste the honey proper but you compromise a bit on the tobacco so the italians didn't want to compromise on the tobacco so both both are ideal for me this is with more of the honey this is more with the tobacco yeah so get them both if you like um, this type of profile very nice indeed yep so i'm going to fill up one of my tanks I'm not sure what, which tank to fill up yet. I'm still vaping this um, Sweet Virginia by uh, the Vaping Gentleman Club. And just, it just keeps the coil going and going. You don't have to re-wick. This is a joy. Again, this is different to the Virginia by Juice Cabin or Virginia by La Tabacaria. Or this is their own unique Virginia. It's like you're vaping fresh tobacco uh, it's, it's different but it's absolutely delicious yeah anyway okay right so uh, this was my review on the black bee by um taba no, tabaka shifishio yeah number 3.0 i want to thank gary again for sending me all these um beautiful delicious nets and introducing me to new vendors it just brings more interest it keeps it keeps everything nice and tasty and well try and keep you off the smoking so you need to keep it interesting not boring right okay so this was my review until the next time take care enjoy your vape bye bye for now